so that you can become a part of our Ohana. Why? Because Ohana means family, and family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Hold on, this light. It's trying to disrespect me. Really? You just gonna do it again? And so I'm going to be showing you guys what I use in this. Also helps promote growth. I have um like medium porosity hair, so my hair can handle a lot of protein. But if you have low porosity hair and your hair can't handle very much protein, then you might want to water down, like dilute your rice water, okay? This is my fermented rice water that I have pretty much... Uh, this has been fermented for like... Um, I think a, a little less than 24 hours, but um, yeah. And then I'm going to be going in with this bottle. Want to make sure that your bottle is like, um, like it, it kind of comes out like mousse like because you are going to be um, using this to like shampoo your hair. And this is also really good for kids when it comes to promoting hair growth. And so I like to use this shampoo but you can use a shampoo of your choice if you have low porosity hair then i recommend you using the camille rose naturals um type of uh shampoo but i'm going i like to go in with the jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore shampoo and it has a shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar in it and this is just oh wait this light there we go and I got this from Target, excuse the top, it's broken. And I'm going to be squeezing some of that into here. And of course, we all know that castor oil promotes growth, hair growth. And then I'm going to be taking some of my fermented rice water. Oh, and it stinks, but it's not as bad as like it normally would be because it hasn't been fermented for that long. It's been like 20 hours. And so I'm going to add the top back and put this back. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit more shampoo. And then you're just going to put your top in and like this. If you want to dilute the smell, you can add some essential oil. Um, I actually think when I fermented my water, I added a little bit of tea tree oil because it's also an antifungal um, oil. And so, yeah, it would help with clarifying your scalp and all that jazz. And so, this is what it ends up looking like. I also use this in Selena's hair, and that's what's been helping promote um, the growth in the back of her hair. So as you can see, she started off with like this bald spot, um, kind of like in the back. It wasn't even from sleeping on her head. It was just because she was always in the car seat. And so her hair would always rub against, you know, the back of her car seat. And so she just ended up having this bald spot, which Leilani had as well. So I would just shampoo it <clears throat> with the rice water, um, the rice water shampoo. And um, I would do it on a consistent basis um, just to make sure that her scalp was always clean, um, not too oily so that it wouldn't get clogged. <clears throat> and then once I was um, done washing it with that, I would always rinse it with this um, OGX Coconut Curls Conditioner. And, um, and it actually works wonders for her hair. Um, the coconut oil one or the coconut one works better for selenia in particular and then i made these homemade bonnets for um both my daughters uh selenia has one that's purple on the inside and leilani has one that's pink on the inside and so i would just use that um she doesn't always keep hers on so i would use a silk pillowcase that i made for her as well and then this is <clears throat> kind of like what the back of her hair was looking like um after like the first um three or four months of using the the shampoo the rice water shampoo and um it's been working like tremendously and it's also been thickening her hair up a bit and so yeah like you know her hair has has grown tremendously now also when i was um trying to grow the back of her hair out um and even like her sideburns and like her edges and things like that just to thicken them up as well i would always try to like first start off letting her hair be free and then maybe like adding a bow or something just to like you know jazz it up a bit or like maybe a headband from from here 
here and there time to time but then I would also use like protective styles like braids or twists and things like that and so um her hair has grown tremendously since then and because her hair is extremely soft I like to massage her scalp using castor oil and coconut oil and even like almond oil or olive oil but her hair really um specifically likes coconut oil and um castor oil I use the Jamaican black castor oil with um, mango in it it smells extremely good but um i use that it's not too overwhelming and too overpowering and so um sometimes i even slick her hair back um if it'll even stay and then this is pretty much where her hair is now it's really curly but it definitely is longer i really hope that this video has helped um you guys just thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see how i um style her hair in some of these protective styles or how i made her bonnets then those videos are coming up just leave a comment down below which one you want to see first and until next time bye guys if you haven't subscribed by now that is completely unacceptable